All right, today we have the Alienware 610M wired wireless gaming mouse. You can get this in two color options, either lunar light or dark side of the moon. I chose dark side of the moon. Oh, it has a nice little pull tab to open it. It's pretty nice. And spoiler alert, I also bought the keyboard. And so let's see a mouse. Oh, there's even directions how to take it out. Well, not how to take it out, but how to use it. All right, so this mouse comes out. Standard little Alienware paperwork, little story. Welcome to the next stage in pursuit of excellence. I'll put that there. You can pause it and read if you want. I'm not gonna read to you. No stickers in case you're worried about such things. So in here, we've got a weird USB dongle thing. So it says Alienware on it. This side's USB-A and this side looks to be micro USB. Braided cable, micro USB. This is also the micro and USB-A. Back here, we have our plastic wrap. And there is, oh, it's a little eject button. That's nice. Pretty good. I'm gonna use a Razer mouse pad for this. You can see, moves along nicely. It's a good hand, I have a big hand. And so I like these little wing guys. My hand kind of fits right in there. That's perfect for me. This is how I hold the mouse, right? The proper way. And there's two buttons here on the side. And then the scroll wheel. I don't know what this little button does. I mean, that's a deep hole for that cord. I guess if you wanted to alternate from USB to wired, you could use this. I mean, that goes deep in there. I don't think you can see that. It basically swallows that whole thing in there. And I guess that's going to be a USB dock for if you want, or if you want to pull it out. It also goes deep in there. I mean, I guess that doesn't come out. There's a little groove right here. There we go. See so that it swallows it entirely. So you can use it wired like that, or you can use the USB dongle. So I guess that's what they're saying, is that if you don't want to do it that way, you could just plug it in here, this guy, and then use the old USB dongle. Yeah, so you could just use it like this. All right, so here they are side by side. Another good thing, so right, if you have this USB port here on the keyboard, you could just take the mouse dongle, which I have here, and you could plug it directly into the keyboard, of course. It does stick out a little bit, and there's a little teeny tiny alien head on there you probably can't see it and it's labeled it's the 16m which i like or if you still want to be wired but you wanted the extra real estate of this cord put your dongle back in the mouse this has a usb symbol but not the alien head which is i guess acceptable so the good news for the keyboard it's all one cord until you get to the business end you're not gonna have two cords just strewn about your desktop right now you will if you have this cord from the mouse going to it but I assume the battery's not charged on this thing since it just came out the box. Fresh out the box. So I'm going to use it wired for now. And why not? Let's get the Alienware X17 out. In case you're wondering, the Alienware X17 has precisely two USB-A ports. So it can use this. I was briefly thinking they only had one and it wouldn't work with this. But oh, look, the light's right up. Right off the bat, that's something neat. It lights up that light right there for the number lock. So that's pretty cool. There's this little switch here. That's way fast. All right, so let's go ahead and we got our power plugged in. This mouse is too fast. Oh my goodness. So you can update it from Alienware Command Center. That's pretty nice. That's nice. All right, so now let's take a look at Alienware Command Center for the Alienware 610M mouse. So let me move this keyboard out of the way. This is my Logi desk mat, and here is the mouse. So generally I use the mouse wireless with the dongle plugged in up here. However, as you can tell, there's no lights on it. So this is Alienware Command Center, and again, there it can be good, it can be bad, it's a little bit of everything. For now, we're gonna say it's not doing stuff I like. You have to go to the FX tab to change anything. Let's we'll call this mouse test. Gonna say we're theme. And then we're gonna go to mouse test. So we'll make mouse test activate. And we'll go to mouse test and edit. All right, so there's the keyboard. And we're gonna go ahead and click on all keys. And we're gonna turn those lights off so you don't see that up here. I don't know if you noticed, the mouse lights are off this whole time. That's not on purpose. They just randomly will go off. We change it from plugged to unplugged. Every once in a while, the mouse will just quit lighting up. It still works fine, but it won't light up correctly. So let me plug it back in, and we'll see if the mouse will suddenly start working off. And back on, maybe. Let me try to unplug the wireless dongle. Let's see if it goes wired, if I can get it to work. So you can see it's charging at 91%. It tells you the battery life, which is nice. Let me try to completely unplug it. So now it doesn't see it on the screen anymore. And let me plug it back in. There we go. So that happened to work 
on video here, which is nice because I wanted to show it, but it's not quite the way it's supposed to work. It doesn't happen as much as it would seem, right? It's, it's just a, a wonky coincidence. You can store the USB dongle here, which is nice. And it does say 610M on it, so you know which one it is, which is nice. So this is changing colors. That's because it's not fully charged. Once it gets fully charged, it'll just act like all the other colors. But until then, it's like a battery meter. So essentially, you can change the lights here, which is nice. So let's go first look at settings. Unlike the keyboard, there are a lot of settings for the mouse, right? So you can look at that. You can change the polling rate. You can change the pointer precision. You can change your DPI settings with so this little button here makes it change. You can see when I click that, the check mark changes into directional things, which I think is dumb. So it doesn't stop. Like you could just go 25 times here and it's just, it'll stay there and you don't know that. So you have to go back this way essentially to figure out where you're at. And yeah, I don't really care. I mean, I don't use this for gaming. So I do like that you can update the software here and then you just go back to DPI settings, calibration. You can recalibrate if you want, update it, settings, DPI. So generally I just come in here to update the software and then every once in a while, if I've changed this to some kind of parameters, I never go this high, I never use those. I usually use one of these lower three here. Macros, so you can reassign it. And here I do like it, it will tell you, like on the keyboard, it doesn't really tell you this much detail. I still don't use this either, but in theory you could set them, but I don't do that. All I really do is mess with the lighting. Again, this will just be lighting up until it's fully charged. Once it's fully charged, it'll work with these other colors. Now, if it was wireless, it would still work on those colors. You can do a solid color, right? So like, just look at the alien head, basically on these side pieces at the moment, but you can make it any color you want. You can do red, it's red in person. I don't know if the camera's looking red, but it, it looks really good, I think. And after using it for a while, I will say one thing. I was previously using the Logitech MX keys, which has like a more of a slant and this one is more flat. I didn't notice it. I wouldn't say my wrist hurt from using it, and I've been using it for months without any problem. But when I first did it, it was noticeable. I could feel it in here. It didn't hurt. I didn't have to wear wrist brace or anything like that. I've been typing on computers for 20 years probably, so I don't know what it is. I mean, it's noticeable. Ergonomics tell you that you should have it more this way. And I did buy the vertical mouse to try it, but looks wise, I like this, not like this little landing pad thing. Like my hand sits here naturally, and I think it's, it's a good looking mouse. I like how it feels in my hand. I think it's, it's just a good device, but just be warned when you switch to it, you may notice it if you've had a more, you know, slanted mouse. All right, so anyhow, you can change colors. Obviously, to a single color, you can make it pulse. So there's just kind of flashing like that, right? And it does on the side too. Again, you can't really see that on the camera angle I got here, but it does. And then besides pulse, we have morph, which I think is dumb. Morph just changes from one color to the other. So like it's right now it's going blue to purple, which isn't very drastic. Let's, let's do red for one, and then we'll make this one a light green. So now you can see it goes from green, now it's red, and then it transitions to green, and then go back to red again. I never use that breathing which is cool and it does breathe and on the desktop the r13 the lighting patterns would deviate all across the device in pulse but i guess the mouse doesn't do that spectrum this is where it will just change colors as you would expect you know spectrum just changes from one color to the next and there's color wave now this gives you like it's a very cool look here where you have like a slightly different color on one side and then it will transition to the other and i'm not sure how well that's coming across in camera but it it looks pretty cool in person. Same with Alien Head, it will transition some as well. And then you can just go blue logo and that will turn off the side lights. You see, so there is a little separation there. So it's just the logo and those little side wing lights are off. Yeah, I'll show let me show it in the dark. All right, so again, it's gonna be green on top, which is annoying a little bit. So you can see it kicks out some color there, right? Well, there's just gonna be a blue tint up here a little bit. That's from my Alienware monitor. The single color, of course, is this. So let's go to red so you can see how much it shines out there, which is pretty good. It looks pretty good. I mean, it does add some decent amount of color to it. Let's try more, which went right back to these same colors. So you can see it's going from purple to blue. Pulse, it's just flashing, right? Breathing. It does seem like the sides are slightly delayed from the alien head. Spectrum. And the best one, color wave, at least the most skilled, maybe. Technically impressive, I guess, because the way the colors change inside here is pretty neat. And you can change the tempo for these things, right? You'll make it fast. And then you can change the brightness as well. And of course, if you just want to do just the blue logo and just the alien head there, right? So you can see just the alien head, it's pretty bright. It looks really cool here. I mean, I that's not gonna come across the camera. Probably gonna be blown out from the camera, but 
it looks very good here. But yeah, by the alien head, it looks good. There's the alien eyes in there, of course, right? And it has, so no, it's just cool looking. I mean, I'll leave the side wings on because I like those. Anyhow, that is the mouse. You can assign a color to it, you know, a pattern to a game or something if you want. And then there's a handful of games listed, one Mortal Kombat, and I played that and it looked pretty cool with it. So let me show you with the mouse and keyboard together. All right, so here is the Alienware mouse and keyboard together. You can see we're gonna use the Alien FX software. I know this is in the mouse video, but I didn't in the keyboard video necessarily. There's a USB slot here. That's normally why I use the mouse wirelessly, but sometimes the mouse loses the lighting if you don't have it plugged in. So the mouse can be wired or wireless. I'm using it wired now. This is green now because the battery is still charging. Once it gets fully charged, this will just replicate these other colors here. All right, so this is Alien FX software, of course, like I just showed. So let's just set all of our keys here and we're gonna turn them all. Let's just make everything blue. And then we'll go to the mouse as well. And we'll also make it all. So everything is blue now, right? Everything is all the same color it looks pretty good so let's go back to the keyboard and let's change the keyboard you gotta click all keys again which is really annoying so let's go to and we'll click pulse so now the keyboard is pulsing you can see caps light up lock will light up as well so number lock and caps lock will turn to a solid color i didn't want cap lock so i'll turn it off and then let's go to the mouse and we'll click on pulse and here is where the annoyance starts right so you can tell they don't pulse the same Right, you can tell the alien head and the side piece of the mouse will light up and the keyboard lights up, but they don't light in sync. I also have the Alienware monitor up here and the Alienware laptop over here, X17R1, and I briefly had the Alienware R13 desktop and the pulsing, it doesn't match up on any of those products. So Alien FX as a whole, it's kind of annoying because things just don't sync up correctly. Some things will, some things won't. Pulse doesn't quite morph. So I'm gonna change it to top color green, bottom color red, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the mouse. So you can tell this does kind of sync together, which is nice. Now let's go back to the keyboard. We'll always key, click all keys again, and then let's do breathing. So breathing blue, and we'll go to the mouse and pick breathing. And now they're both breathing. And as you can tell again, they don't quite breathe in sync. It almost seems like it's intentional for them not all to be quite the same, but I don't know if it is or not. Or if it's just, just random wonkiness. Let's go back, so let's go to we did breathing. So let's do spectrum. This is where the annoyance really comes in play here. So spectrum is flashing on the keyboard and we'll change the mouse also to spectrum. And you would think they would line up correctly and they do not. So this is purple, this is now purple, this is blue. This is now yellow, right? So they don't they don't even line up. It's not like they're delayed and they're you know they're the same tempo. This is a medium tempo and the keyboard, they're also a medium tempo, right? And I've tried, I'm not gonna do it now because I just don't want to take the time, but I've tried moving tempos and getting them, they just does not line up correctly. It just makes no sense. So after spectrum, we can do a single color wave, but the mouse does not have any kind of single, it does have color wave, but not single color wave. So it's not gonna do that. Let's do rainbow wave. So it'd be really nice if the rainbow color would start here and then hit the mouse, but it doesn't. Luckily, there's enough colors flashing. This is usually the combo I leave it on, right? So the keyboard, I leave it on color wave left to right, and then the mouse just does its own little wave option. It doesn't really look bad. I mean, the mouse looks cool. I think it looks good the way it blends the colors here, and it doesn't seem too out of sync with the way it is. It's not quite in sync, but it, it doesn't seem too bad. So outside Rainbow Wave, we have Scanner, and there's no such thing as Scanner on the mouse. Default Blue, of course, if we do Default Blue, it's gonna match up perfectly, because that's the way it works, or if you can do just the blue logo on the alien head. And again, if you wanted to set custom colors, like start, start just manually have a static color, it's all gonna look pretty good. But when you try to do the fancy patterns, it doesn't work as great, which I find annoying. So, I mean, trust me, I tried a lot to make this work, and it just does not. Pulse. It doesn't even seem in sync, right? Like it doesn't seem like the same speed. Like it's, it'd be one thing if the keyboard's supposed to be one way and then you know the opposite, but it doesn't seem like that's even happening. It just doesn't seem to be right. And then morph. This one seems to be in sync, which is nice. But the, I don't know why all of them can't be in sync. It's very odd. Breathing. So this one you can sort of see that they're breathing separately, but then there's like a big flash on the keyboard that doesn't seem to 
blend in with that, so I don't understand colorway. This essentially is what I leave it on most of the time, and I think it looks pretty good. That's really your only option, color wave, the blue logo, and then there's an extra scanner option in here that the mouse doesn't have. It does look cool and dark, it's way too fast, but even if you slow it down, it's still probably too fast. Like, I don't know when I would want, I mean, I never use it. I turn it on when I'm messing with it, but I never actually use it. So yeah, generally I leave it on Rainbow Wave. And again, you can make it left to right or right to left. And then I leave the mouse on Color Wave. Anyhow, that's it. So the keyboard and mouse, I do like both items a lot. The keyboard, when I first got it, it was my first mechanical keyboard. I have the Alienware X17 that has a mechanical keyboard for a laptop, but it's quite different, of course, than a regular keyboard. I had previously just used this Logitech MX Keys, which is very thin and low profile. The first week I had it, I hated it, and I'm wearing it right back to the MX Keys. I tried to make myself use it for a couple days, and then I went back to the MX Keys, but then shockingly, when I went back to the MX Keys, I hated the MX Keys, and I went back to this, and I've been using this ever since. And I do like it. It's a low profile mechanical keyboard. My son has a Razer keyboard, and it's a little taller. I didn't like it as much, but I've been a pretty big fan of it. I love this little wheel here, and the mouse I'm a huge fan of. Like I said, ergonomically, this one's probably better for me to use, or even the vertical one, but I just like this one and it hasn't hurt my wrist in any capacity, so I like it. But I think it's one of the coolest looking mouses I've ever seen. So software is kind of junk, but the lights look good. The keys type good, I like it. It's, I just like the way the keyboard physically, I think looks good and the mouse looks good and they look good on my desk. They look good with this pad. So if you're in the Alienware, probably, even if you don't use the Alienware, it looks, because the Alienware don't all sync up unless you're using one solid color. But if you want to use a bunch of fancy colors, they won't sync up. But as far as just using, if you just want to set to a standard color or set to like a generic theme like this, then that was pretty good. And I like the keyboard and I can recommend both or I think are pretty good products. So I guess the big thumbs up, even though the lights are kind of annoying. All right. Thanks for checking me out. <laughs>